Now let's see how we can handle the drop down date picker. So first we need to perform a click. Now what I'll do here, I'll dot add skip in this and remove skip from here because now I want to run this one. I have already added the code for clicking on this icon, sorry, the tab. Then we have to write a locator to perform click on this. So let's write the locator. Is it the same as we have? Date picker ID. We have already written date picker input. Let's cl perform click on this. And that was the reason I did not make that as a private because we are using in multiple places. So let's remove this. So we'll perform click. As soon as you perform click, then you have a drop down. So you need to handle drop down based on your month you pass, year you pass, and the date you select. Now, first, let's write date and you require const day, maybe 12th day, const month. Now, if you see the format of month is not 0, 1, 2, 3, but Jan, Feb, March, April. So let's pass in that format only. I'll say MAR for March, MAR, right? And then year. Const year. Let's see how many years is given. Is it all from 2020, 2013 to 2033? So let's 6202020. Right. 2020 now these are the year now instead of writing in three line cons we can remove this cons so you can add a comma here and we can write in the same line so it will reduce a bit of line of code it's the same thing as previous one but you are adding in the single line so instead of writing multiple cons you are adding cons and comma then these all are constant values only right if you hover your mouse on month it's a const if you hover your mouse on year this is also a const just a simple java typescript thing so this is our data now, based on these data, we have to, you know, handle this calendar. So first we need to write a locator for this drop down. Now we have already discussed in the previous videos how we can handle a drop down. So if you have not seen the video, first go and check out how to handle the drop down and then come to that so that it will make sense. So these are the drop down. And if you notice this locator here, right, these are the select tag only. And if you have a select tag, it's a very easy way to handle in the web driver IO. So let's write a locator for handling month and year. So do you have a instead of okay this is a class let me see if i have this title as well anywhere oh this is also two one is this another is this we need to find a common locator so this is also not going to work you have to see there i think this should be the unique one i don't find anything here so let's try to write this and see oh this is the unique one so this will help you to select the month if you see one of one matching. So let's write the locator for this. Now in the page class. So let's write the page class for the drop down here. Private get hmm, select month return locator, right? This is for month and then for year as well. I think we have select month. And for select year, we have select year. Let's change this. Yeah, we have unique. So let's write this as well. Private get select year return and the locator. So this is handled. We must have I frame as well here also. So we have to handle that um, as well. So we have, we'll copy the previous one and let's try to just modify this particular locator. because only partial text will change let's try to jump to the frame here we have a drop down month here so let's change this instead of date picker slash default yeah this is the locator so instead of iframe after clicking here we will say get iframe return locator let's write so we have a locator for iframe handling for this particular um, tab as well then we have a locator for writing selecting the month and the year we are these locators and then we need to write a locator to handle this data also this is now this is where a bit of tricky part we have multiple you know date here so based on the text you pass this locator should change that means you need to write a dynamic locator now how we can write let's look into it so first we have to write in a way I have to write a locator first so let's see how many cal calendar we have a table calendar 
so let's write a calendar table table class slash slash table at the rate class equal to we have a two matching the second one is this first one is another so this is not your active element so i think this locator we have 62 that means there is two calendar icon matching but a reason because you have two will be in the frame so it's going to look inside this frame only and that is why i think this is going to work now we have written a td now based on the select a tag we pass so we have to say slash a text is equal to and if you pass one then it will select first if you pass two it will select two if you see it's highlighting if you see three four it is matching so based on the text you are passing this is going to change so now let's write that locator in our page class here you have to write a locator private get select not select the it's not select because it's not a drop down so it's just in um, you know click on that let's say for this time being select only now this locator is not the normal one because it's it needs to be dynamic if you notice this locator right here if we say zero one two based on the type we are passing locator should change now we have already discussed in the previous video the getter cannot have input param for example if you cannot pass day number like this in this look because this is the getter you cannot pass so what you can do to change this instead of making that you can remove this getter and make it a function and then here arrow function now what this does basically this is not become now one normal function how you will have like it it is very much similar to select if you imagine a function like this where you have one parameter number and then you have a return statement like this so what either this i think this is going to make more sense so let me remove but you can write this well so and you can because this is an arrow function and it's a one line statement you can remove this return and you can remove bracket and this particular function and and this is exactly same it's going to do the both same thing it is also a function but it's an arrow function which will return and because you're writing an arrow function you don't have one more than one just a single line you don't have to write a return by default it will return this locator so choice is yours either you can write this way or this way either way so this is little understandable easily and this might be a little new for you still i'll go with the first option only so this way whenever you call this function this is a normal function or method you need to pass the number and based on that number it should change the data here so now we have already discussed you have to use tilt operator from beginning at the end and then if you have to give any dynamic value dollar curly bracket open close you now whatever you want to replace here this will be replaced make sure these are the tilt operator below your escape button in the keyboard now this is going to handle all uh, you know it will handle select month it will select year and based on the cell you know day you are passing it will find that locator and then you have to perform click on this now let's create a method drop down date now this function expects three parameter because whenever you are handling this calendar you need a month year and date so i'll expect a date or i'll say a day in form of number then i'll expect a month in form of a string because you need to pass like a jan feb march april and all and then you have to add here this also can be a number so this three parameter you need to pass whenever you're calling this function now let's handle it right so you have to say this because this is handling drop down first we have to handle month or, or maybe let's handle the year first so yeah now we have already seen how we can handle here uh, any drop down this dot the particular locator dot uh, select by visible text if you are not sure about this i have already explained my previous video so you can go and check it out now whatever you pass the year here based on that it will change so based on the year you pass it will handle that or it will select that year from the drop down then same for the month as well now same way i'll just copy paste it sorry let me first remove this multiple await that we have extra weight colon and this should handle the month so let's keep first as a month only 
so first it will select a month so this should be month month locator and whatever you pass month it will select for the year whatever you, year you will pass it will select but the date is not the drop down so you have to perform click on that particular matching element so you have to say await this dot select day is a function where you have to pass the parameter what parameter day parameter whatever day you're passing and then you have to perform what click let's remove this multiple await extra weight added right so it is going to select the day pass vision that you pass and then perform click or you can add a locator here also to perform click but we are going to handle let's keep it clean there and let's handle here as well here itself so it is going to select month year and then perform particular date on that based on this function let's call this function now first thing we have to switch to the frame as you have done here so same way you have to write a code for this switch to frame we just need to change the frame locator i frame drop down date and then you have to switch to the default frame as well that also we have to write so this is going to handle the day you know handling the frame now let's call the fun actual function that we have written to select the date calendar page select drop down date and we need to pass three parameter day month and year day is a number so we have to say here we are having this you can pass simply here or from here so i can say here day then what is a month we are passing month and then we are passing this year because we have defined the type if you keep this as a string you'll get error because this a here here we have defined as a number so you have to pass as a number only and that is why make sure the type script checks are there so and this so we are passing day month and year he from here or you can just type it directly here in this calling function also now let's just repeat it let's go to the page class we have written a locator to perform let's close this off click on this icon then you have written locator to handle the frame because it is inside a frame it it will handle the frame then we have a locator for handling month and year that means this month and year we have to select from the drop down and then we have a locator based on the number of day you are passing here it will change that locator now the function is visible text month year will select from the drop down and for the day based on the number we are passing it will perform click on that particular so it will be like selecting this selecting this and performing click right so that's how it's going to handle all the locator now let's see whether this is going to work or not and i need to check whether i have passed the correct values or not so yeah this looks good now add browser dot pause for some four sec five seconds to just to show you how it's working and let's try to run this and see whether it's working or not it clicked on it i think there is some issue here it's not able to find this particular locator that's what it says so you need to see whether we have handled the okay we are trying to perform a click before switching to frame which is wrong first we have to switch to frame and then you have to perform click that was wrong move yeah so first switch to frame then perform click then select on the date and then switch uh, come out of the frame now let's try to read and see yeah did you see it selected it was very quick but it selected 3 12 2020 and this is what i have select march is the third month and then 12 is a date 2020 so i think the only issue was I, I was writing the click before switching to the frame so first you have to switch to frame perform click on that input box select the date that we have written method here and then just switch out of the frame now one thing is there are some improvement in the code though this code is going to work fine but one thing you notice whenever you are passing this here the date you cannot pass any random data you have to pass the value from only these and that also not january february and all it is just jan feb march mar apr so we have to make sure uh, where whoever is using this calling this function is passing only the, those possible values and not any number so for example as of now if i pass abcd my code is not going to complain me that this is the in wrong input 
because we are expecting this particular month if you see here in this function this particular month should be a string that means any string can be passed there and this still your code will not complain that this is an incorrect value so we will see how we can enhance our code in a way that if we pass some we have set of desired value only to be passed and how we can control our user to pass only these part of set of data and not any random data that we'll explore in the later videos. So that's it for now. Thank you so much.